I want to show you how to very easily add your own textures to our add-on material works. It's really easy and very powerful. If you don't know about our add-on material works, it's an add-on for Blender that allows you to use materials very easily. It comes with a pack of 50 mats, but you can also add your own. Now the add-on is going to be released on 21st, but you can pre-order it right now at 40% off. Head off to blenderbros.com forward slash material works to learn more about it. In this video, I want to show you how to add your own mats, your own textures into the add-on so you can use all the powerful features of the add-on with your own mats. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna go to Google and we're going to type uh, concrete and if I can spell it, concrete uh, texture and poly heaven. You can get free textures over there. We're gonna go with a 4K concrete. I'm uh, gonna go here and you wanna select all the PNGs. Okay, we're also gonna snatch the GL uh, normal. We don't need that. And I think we're good to go. And what you want to do is, you know, change here the resolution and we're going to uh, download a zip and download and you're good to go. Once it zips and downloads, you know, you're going to have it on your PC. So what we're going to do here, we're going to simply extract it here. OK, and now what we're going to do is we're going to name it. All right. So let's go here to this folder and we don't need this texture and we're going to rename these. All right. So here, this one is AO. This should be fine here, but I'm gonna call it ambient occlusion. All right, and we can remove the 4K, we don't need that. And here, we're gonna change it to diffuse. The reason why I'm doing this is because the add-on recognizes uh, these names automatically. Now, it's really important that your texture contains a name that specifies type of the material. For example, plastic or metal is gonna be like steel, copper, you know, titanium. And here we have concrete, which technically is stone. So the add-on is gonna automatically sort it to stone category, all right? So now we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this first part here, and we're going to re rename uh, this folder, okay? So we're going to rename this, right? And now what we're going to do, we're going to drop this into the 4K folder of our library, okay? This is my library, okay? I have 4K here and 1K, right? So I'm going to drag and drop it into 4K mods, all right? So now, unless you purchase the studio version, the full version that allows you to access Academy, Hard Surface Academy 2.0, you will be able to access this add-on on 21st of July, which is Friday. But like I said, you can pre-order it right now at 40% off. But let me show you how this is gonna work. So let's press N to open the add-on panel and we're gonna grab just a cube. So let's grab a cube here. And if I'm going to click on library and I can see that stone library was created. This doesn't come with the add-on itself because we do not uh, have any stone materials, okay? So the add-on created this category specifically for this material. So if you're going to click here, you're going to see there's going to be only one mod. And all you do is just simply click to add it to the uh, to this cube. So if you're going to go to rendered view, you can clearly see that, you know, the mod is in here. Now, all the functions are working fine. So all the scale, rotation, you know, you can change color if you want to, right? Um, I just drag it to one, etc. And of course, you know, flipping normals, uh, changing the roughness, occlusion, etc. Okay. Now, if you're going to go to the sphere, you will see here clearly that we have these seams, right? Very visible seams. So to mask these, you can use the add on blend feature to literally just make them go away. And there you go. You got a seamless concrete texture on anything that you want. So you can plug in any textures that you have on your PC any textures that you really like, make sure you're going to name them correctly and you should be able to use them with this add-on. So like I told you, there is a 40% off event at the moment running all the way up to Friday 21st of July, which is where the add-on is going to be released and that's where you're going to be able to access it. So if you'd like to pre-purchase it, this is the best time to get it. There's more information on the add-on or just go ahead and watch one of our trailers on YouTube that we released for the add-on a few days ago. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.